What's up guys, it's Shadokter MPX and we're back with another episode on the Lavacraft server. Today we're continuing off from our little super secret plan project here. Uh, with night we're going to be clearing off all the trees from this island, similar to what I did with the mercenary island, only this time uh, it's a joint joint uh, project from the very beginning, I won't get help uh, in the middle of it. And, but we're going to go from there and we'll maybe landscape the area and see uh, what, where we're going to be putting stuff because that's the idea of it. Clear the trees, figure out what we're going to do and we go from there. But let's get started. In the back. Welcome back. Alright. Let's take down these trees. Mm -hmm. They will not survive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how like quickly this goes with an axe. Oh yeah. <laughs> so much nicer. I believe I used to do this with an iron axe. <laughs> iron? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't use iron.
I think that is all by yeah. the looks of it. Do a little free cam. Go over. How? Why is there two leaves just there? I don't know. I what? Click on. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this preposterous? Oh, one disappeared. Yeah. Okay, I don't mind. It's, it's the same <laughs> crap as just a floating block. Mmm, <laughs> this side of the mountain where the two ravines are is going to be a little bit problematic. Being how they are situated. I'm thinking a bit of terraforming is going to have to happen there. Oh, for sure. Oh, look at you having separate chests for separate wood types. <laughs> well, I put one for spruce and then one for everything else. There is birch in there. But, you know, I don't care about birch, so... <laughs> It doesn't deserve. <laughs> doesn't deserve one. Eight stacks. I'll be right back. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking. Based off looking around, uh, it would be better if we like terraformed it out this way, I'm thinking. If we terraform this out a bit, then we got more room to play with because we want a big shopping district. And we'll increase this here, I think. Uh, we'll increase this here uh, so that it's a little bit higher up. Uh, that way we've got that high level up here and then we can break it down tier leveled it down all the way here that's what I'm thinking but yeah I return welcome back I was just explaining to everyone what I was thinking uh, on the little um, uh, where it kind of like snakes away from the island mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking we could probably join it back up on that shallow area here all the way around to the to the other corner and that will give us like more room to play with for um, more shoppers uh, more shops and right. stuff more buildings I'm thinking the top area is where we want to have like the main guild mm -hmm. not the adventurer but the enchanting yeah, with all the villagers. Definitely. Yeah. It's going to be a pretty big hall. Yeah. Oh, that's with the other villagers. thing. We've got to make it so that they don't use the villagers. Right. So we, we use the villagers and we, we kind of have like a similar to what other shops have. They have like barrels and stuff like that. But we'll make little. Maybe have a we can make it into sections or something. <laughs> oh yeah, we can put the villages underground or something. But we yeah. can make a guild hall with like sections, you know, maybe for mm -hmm. certain types of aspects like fighting enchants and stuff like that or something like that. An armory would be cool. Yeah. An armory would be cool. But yeah, I'm thinking it should be probably the biggest building that we have. Oh, by far. I'm thinking the second biggest building we should have is the bank. I'm almost thinking this little flat spot over here where the, um, at the very tip, um, so you can't see it, but this way. Yeah, I wish you could ping in Minecraft. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right here, I think we should probably make the bank. Okay. Yeah, that it's works. A, it's a big enough area, and it's slightly off and it still uh, doesn't like intrude on anything else mm -hmm. but yeah there's a lot that we can do here we we'll have to think of a place for the adventurers guild maybe in that flat area that I was talking about 
so that people, you know, have to explore the whole island to get to certain parts. Not have, like, the main stuff all in the same spot. And then just intertwine it with uh, shops in between. Which we will come up with. A system. A whole system. <laughs> yeah, eventually. <laughs> We have a pretty good idea of what we want. We just have to figure out the layout and where to put every shop. Yeah, we gotta do layout pretty much. Terraforming is the big one. Mm -hmm. Lucky we have like a lot of resources. <laughs> yeah. For terraforming. Like, I, we've got like four double chests worth of terraforming. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good on that department. Yeah, it's mainly this this side where the ravines are over here I'm thinking we raise this up to this level mm -hmm. that side there mm -hmm. so this would be like a cliff face going down Okay. and this is the highest peak pretty much mm -hmm. yeah that's what I'm thinking for it and we'll raise that up to here as well that little peak there, raise it up to here and make it prep around. Hey guys, just a small little quick update uh, before we get to the outro from there. But yeah, so we finished off doing the uh, cutting down of the trees on the main island and we decided to, yeah, well, let's just uh, collect all some, some of the materials and we'll go from there uh, so that we can just start building on the island. But, uh, so we've... <laughs> We've decided on just like build, getting all of the materials. So we're trying to get all of these materials uh, before we start building uh, on the on that main island over there. So we've, we've done most of it. So we've got all the stone, cobblestone, andesite, diorite, granite. Uh, we've still got half a chest to do for the deep slate, but that's relatively easy. We've got all of the acacia. Uh, and we've got an entire double chest of oak to go. Uh, but, oh, and cherry wood. And we've got the cherry wood. And then we're pretty much done. We're not really worried too much about leaves because we could just make another tree and then uh, collect the leaves that way just using the, uh, whatchamacallit, shears. <laughs> That's the word. Uh, but yeah, we've just been using this little uh, island space over here to go over there. Uh, uh, we've also managed to do uh, some zombie farms as well. I won't show those on camera, just so no one knows where they are. But they 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 might be a, a little bit far off. Um, <laughs> just just a little bit far off. And but I'll also be starting on the piglin, uh, a piglin farm as well. Uh, but. I, again, I won't do that on camera just because that will be in the wild somewhere. I know people can, um, they can grief, uh, in the, in the wilds, which is completely fine, uh, but, yeah, I'm not going to show it on camera just in case, just in case people decide to, you know, try and take, take the stuff from there, but most of the time it will be empty anyway because I'll just empty it. <laughs> I'll just empty it and only do it when I'm online, so that kind of fixes that problem anyway. But yeah, we had been mining oh, we had been mining uh, quite a bit to get these materials. <laughs> it's quite a bit. Yeah, see, even this one has stairs. It's upgraded. Um, but um, yeah, and we've d done this little quick, like, little this little stone thing here as well. It's pretty cool quite fast actually we got the stone and cobblestone done like within an hour for everything so that was pretty good a uh, few quick updates so my, all of my tools as you know are completely uh, done now but I have also been working on uh, the the armor so we'll quickly just go over there I go over to my my house base Uh, here we are. So uh, I've done three out of the four 
So I've done the, the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, and I need to do the boots. I've got everything ready for the boots, so I've got all the enchantments ready, except for one. Uh, I need to go get that one. But for me to do that, I need to go to the piglins, so I want soul speed 3 in my boots as well. But uh, yeah, that bit does just take a bit. I technically can use one of my netherite ingots to... Um, Make a make a hoe as well, which I'll probably do as well, just to complete all the tools. Uh, and I th believe if I put Fortune Three on that as well, and then whack the crops as well, it will give me more crops than usual. So that might it would be worthwhile doing that anyway. I've been collecting these, <laughs> uh, like just these whole blocks by themselves using my silk touch pick, uh, just because the villager trader uh, they do they give you heads like uh, for blocks so I've just been collecting them just in case I find one or when a villager trader a wandering trader comes around if they have any I could just grab it and then quickly go and do that uh, but for now I haven't had any luck with that uh, but that is pretty much it I just thought to do a little quick update in between just to show you what's up uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So we'll we'll head straight back to the outro now. See you there. Alright guys, we're done clearing this island now. It's completely done. We have many plans for this island so far. We were just discussing on uh, where we would place certain buildings and how we would do the terraforming and all the ideas in between. Uh, but do like, comment and subscribe uh, to to my channel and be sure to check out Knight's Perspective as well on her channel I'll be sure to link it down in the description uh, be sure to press that notification button to receive uh, no be notified on my next episode that comes out and I'll see you all guys in the next one goodbye